Hi, this is Mrs. Z from the Tinley Park Public Library. I'm here today to show you one of the math activities that I have done in my Crazy Eights Math Club. Whether or not you have been to Crazy Eights, I think you're going to enjoy this activity titled UFO Measurement with Ninja Stars. The math topics today that we will cover are symmetry, geometry, and measurement. Um, the things that we're going to make today and then fly are unidentified flying objects are actually these paper ninja stars. Um, background information about ninja stars are um, that they originated from Japan, the warriors there hundreds of years ago. Ninjas were stealthy and agile and had some special tools to use um, in their training. And so today we're going to make an example of these tools out of paper. You're going to need three um, materials for this project. You're going to need two regular sheets of paper. I have my special Bedtime Math Crazy Eights paper, but you can use just regular um, paper from home. The thing that you um, will need to make sure you do is make it a perfect square. So you're going to have to cut around your edges. This piece of paper is eight inches on each one of the sides, making it a perfect square. You'll need two of those pages. I just decorated one side because when we fold it might be easier to um, remember where our folds are. You'll also need some invisible tape and a measuring tool. All right, so once you have your two pieces of paper and your invisible tape ready, you um, take your decorated side and place it face down for step one. And you do a fold right along the center from the bottom going up. You want to make sure that you make exact creases because it will make it easier to fold through the entire process. For step two, you're going to take your new bottom and you're going to fold from the bottom up again, being careful to make your creases. It's almost like making a paper fan except we're going the same direction this time. The third step is now face, uh, folding it the opposite direction from left to right and making your center crease there. That one needs to be nice and straight. And then you open it back up. You have your nice crease in the middle and you are going to take your left side and fold it right to your middle. And then you're gonna do the same with your right side, making another fold toward your center. The paper gets a little bit more tough to fold as you have more creases. All right, so that's what it should look like. If you looked on the outside, it would be into quarters. And this time you're gonna make triangles. You're gonna take your bottom left corner and fold it to your center crease. And then you're going to do the same, but the opposite direction from your top right corner, you're going to take it down to the center, folding downward. And that's your first half of your Ninja Star. Just to speed up the process, I folded my other one ahead of time, so I have two. You would just follow the same exact steps. But this time, you're going to take them, and you're, you have two symmetrical objects here. You're going to take one and put it on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one. But you want to make sure that you line them up and get a 90 degree angle. Once you have them perfectly lined up, you're going to take your invisible tape and secure them together. And then flip it over like I did and tape it the other direction, just to make sure that it's fastened together so when we send it flying, it will stick together. And that's your ninja star. Now it's almost time to send our ninja stars flying. First, we need to um, set up our course to show how far they're going to fly. So you want to um, set out a starting point. So if you're doing this inside, you might want to put a piece of masking tape down or a piece of paper. If you're doing this outside on a driveway or on the sidewalk, you can use sidewalk chalk to mark your start line. You're going to need to remember you need a nice amount of space, at least 30 feet to start. So at our 
first starting point, we're going to use our measuring tape and start in our designated spot for start. And my measuring tape is 10 feet, so this works out really well for me. So I went ahead and stretched it all the way to 10 feet, which happens to be 120 inches and I marked that as our first spot. So you're gonna to wanna to mark it with your piece of paper or your tape or your chalk and then keep going. You can do it in about 10 foot or 120 inch intervals when to, you keep going until you get about 30 feet. The fun part, letting your ninja stars fly. So you wanna line yourself up with your starting point and just let the chalk and let them fly. So remember my ending point was about 30 feet. So let's see how far they will go. I'm gonna just do two trials. You can do as many as you want, possibly take an average. All right, so my first two trials here were about 15 and about 18 feet. What you can do is you can try um, multiple times with different size ninja stars and compare how far the different sizes fly or you can use the same size and take an average or you can make your own UFOs. You can make paper airplanes or other type of flying objects. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find more fun math problems and activities, you can check out Bedtime Math, that's from the creators of Crazy Ace Math Club. These are great um, one-page stories with different math um, problems to solve. Or if you're interested in more information about ninjas, there are some great books here at the library in the 500s, or you could check them out on Hoopla today.